Hello and welcome to the 62nd video here on my channel on YouTube. Oh my god, 62 videos? That's definitely a lot more than I thought I would do when I started the channel uh, at the beginning of the year. Uh, I've definitely kept my weekly schedule, so I'm above 52. Um, but I still have some room to go to reach daily, if I ever. This week we went out to see Hatsune Miko, a 16-year-old Japanese uh, singer who had her first uh, tour in Europe and uh, we were very fortunate that uh, she was stopping over in Cologne. But first things first, uh, something else happened this week. This week, the company Generative Music have re-released an application that was uh, created about 10 years ago by Brian Eno and it's called Bloom. Uh, Bloom is basically a visual synthesizer for the phone. At that time, 10 years ago, it was only released on the iPhone, but now they have re-released it for iPhone and Android and created, in addition to the original world, nine more worlds so that you now have 10 worlds on Bloom to play with. I'll put a link to Generative Music uh, down in the uh, description box. Um, this is by no means uh, an endorsement or paid advertising. It's just that I think it's a pretty cool app, and if you're an Apple fanboy, Generative Music have five more apps that allow you to create music on Apple. Earlier this week, uh, Audrey Ember released a video on how to find music uh, for YouTube videos. Uh, it's a great video, uh, highly recommend it. I'll put a link down below. Uh, the only thing I wanted to add is one option, and that is uh, to create your own music, and that's where Bloom actually comes in quite handy. If you start Bloom, it has a completely empty screen and then you start playing music on it by touching points on uh, the screen and Bloom will continue uh, to play the music for you. It takes some time to get used to the interface uh, and also to play around with all the 10 worlds but now you can hear that the initial um, music I put on the videos at the top and beginning of the movie that was created by Bloom. Bloom also supports my workflow. Usually the way I create my videos is uh, to first uh, get the video storyline, the video narrative in order. Uh, I'm going to check all the separate video clips uh, on audio. Do I want to keep the audio? Do I want to keep it as ambient and just lower the volume or just uh, mute it and re-record it? And once I'm happy with uh, the f layout of the video and uh, the out of the video segments to be precise and have put in all the text that I want in the video uh, then it's going to, we're going to add audio to the video. That's a bit different than, than other people do and uh, I'm not really good at uh, techniques like uh, cutting to the beat of the video. Usually I work the opposite. Having the ability to create my own music actually allows me to create the music to uh, the cuts of the video and not vice versa which helps my version of the workflow and uh, I'll play with it for the next couple of videos. I, I hope you're going to like it. Coming back to the concert on Tuesday. Hatsune Miko is a 16 year old Japanese singer who for the first time came to Europe and we were quite fortunate that she was stopping in Cologne in the Lanxess area arena. Hatsune brought a couple of her friends for support, uh, Raiko, Michael, the Kamigama twins, um, just to name a couple, and delivered a fantastic show. Um, a lot of the people attending the concert were regulars. If you look at uh, the way the uh, signature glow sticks are being moved by the people or change color according to the, the mood on the stage, well, now that people definitely have been to uh, Hatsune's concerts before. So it created a very, very good atmosphere and we had a lot of fun till late in the night. And uh, let me show you a couple of impressions and I hope you enjoy. <laughs>
Ațul Numicu. <fie>